Hey everybody, what's up? We are gonna check out the uh, Ketosian Triangle today. The Roulette of Truth is the one that's open today. So we're gonna jump in here and take a look around. I know nothing about it. I have not looked at it at all. That's the first time I've clicked this far into it even. So we're going in blind and we're gonna figure it out together, okay? Looks like we're getting some gear. For your first clear, you're already getting white gear. So that makes me think, and there's only six stages. It makes me think this is gonna, Makes me think so this is gonna be pretty tough. Let's see what we're working with here. Launches four attacks at a very fast speed with each attack prioritizing targets that have not been hit. Units that are hit repeatedly will take heavy damage. When HP reaches 75, 50, and 25%, summons two crazed stone spirits that inflict damage to all enemies on the battlefield. Units outside of the realm inflict 99% less damage to bosses. So we'll have to see what the realm is. I guess that's kind of like a terror dome thing. And then uh, received non-crit damage is reduced by 50%. Okay, so you need champs in here that are gonna be critting. So we it sounds like we're gonna need close range attacks. Close range attacks and champs that are gonna be landing crit hits. So uh, this is the default team. It, it's dropping in for me in, in all of this. All right, so uh, Ravenna, well, I don't know. We need to see what the realm is first. So I guess Bailey for sure. Um, Bailey for sure. And then I have done a little bit with my assassins. I believe Mooka has crit stats. So maybe Mooka. <clears throat> mm, did I put crit on you when I rebuilt you in Gluttony? I think maybe. We'll try you up front. And then who else? Taylor or Botmark? But again, outside of the ring. Let's just drop bot mark in and see what happens. And then I guess we're gonna go with uh, you. And maybe we leave this like this. Let's just jump in here and see what this looks like. I reckon the new champ will be good in here too, huh? Okay, so very Terra Domish. have crit stats on Mooka. Now I can't remember. So Botmark's not doing much, but again, much like Teradome. Um perhaps helping from outside. We're gonna we're gonna drop him though. Uh, let's drop Mooka and Botmark and then I guess we can try Randall and I mean Taylor if I want to manual it, it's a great option. I reckon. see how much this actually differs from Aradum. Yes, yeah, so Taylor catches up a lot when he gets inside the ring, so Taylor's going to be real good in here, obviously. Botmark would be good if you could get Botmark in the ring, but... All right, we're already getting warnings here. Probably could go Dark Summit for the uh, prototype. I think right now it's something else. Taking 
some damage already. We don't need the ult. I mean, I guess I'll do it. All right, so we lost Randall, of course. Randall, I feel like Randall's always the first to go down, man. <laughs> I just can't keep Randall alive. Uh, all right, stage four. It's getting difficult already, though. I'm not sure we're going to clear this one. Ah, I forgot to change my prototype. Let me do that real quick. gonna be fun to check out some of these new gear sets for sure defense is just such a, a bad stat for damage mitigation he's built defense heavy because I was trying to build him for damage to speed up my Disa runs He's got a lot of defense, but it just, it's like it doesn't mitigate damage at all, it seems like. All right, Taylor's down. Holy shit, he wiped us out, dude. All right, can Bailey do it alone? <clears throat> Man, you got to take these dudes out. They are messing us up. Okay. All right, so we made it to four, which is good. Again, I'm glad. Same thing with the other one. I'm glad we didn't just breeze through it. We have to... Make some changes here. He can't hang anymore. He's too squishy. So I guess we could try, like, creep. Also, it could help us do more damage. Uh, Randall just can't stay alive, so... What if we do... What if we do... I guess we could try a second healer. Maybe that would make life a little bit easier. And then they just they just keep the back line. See if maybe the second healer helps us get through it. to keep Taylor out of the line of fire Let's go up here this time where'd my mouse go oh my mouse just disappeared for a second all right and we'll jump you I was just thinking I would love an alternative to Taylor so I could do this on auto, but like he's just so good, man. I'm gonna let him ult this little dude out of here. Ah, I might have should have saved it. Second healer's helping a lot. He's out healing her, which I find interesting. I do have him in abundant, to be fair, but is the third? Yeah, I guess that's part of it too. I can get him a little bit closer to the edge, I think. All right, so it's not the fastest, but it's much safer. Okay. 
see if we can keep going. Hey, let's go. It's, did it say it's recommended I have combat power of 10.3 million? My whole account's like 12.1. Crate. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. Taylor, why don't you focus one of these guys? Damn you. <sighs> we were close, even, even with Crete going down. Okay, so maybe not Crete. Or Crete needs more, you know, levels. We're going to try Leo just to see how it goes, and then we might call it and hit the drawing board officially, like off screen, you know. It's a little similar to Terra Dome. That's kind of my, my, my big feedback on it is I don't know why it's so similar to Terra Dome. I kind of feel like whatever team you use in Terra Dome, you have to scale them up because obviously this, this is more difficult, but I kind of feel like whatever you use in Terra Dome would also be exactly fine in here. Which is interesting because Crimson, Crimson Abyss, they did such a good job, I think, of making like different mechanics. Unless that's the point of these three, to be like harder versions of what we have. You know what I mean? Like if, if the other one is like a harder Disa and the other one is like a harder Kinsara Marsh, then okay. All right, maybe. But also, I don't know. I don't hate it. I reckon there's only so many <laughs> different versions of dungeons come up with anyway, but we're looking as long as no one gets dropped like out of nowhere. If Leo can hang on. Keep absorbing damage for us. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, barring a catastrophe, I think we're good here.
and no one went down, we might be able to clear six. We're not going to get the cards anytime soon, but we might be able to get the clear. Let's give it a shot. Eleven point seven million. Yeah, I'll get right on that. So good. Gonna be a matter of like how how strong are these little turds down here. Also, what is this again? Oh, that's just a permanent thing. Okay. Maybe if I put him like right on top of it. I think he did help that time. We gotta get Taylor out of out of harm's way. Everybody just keep holding on, you're doing fine. Bailey, not good. Not good. And lost Taylor. All right, so those those little dudes are a problem on this level. Okay. We're close, though. I reckon we'll get that clear pretty quick. I reckon we'll get that clear. A little bit more playing around. Maybe a little bit more of an upgrade. Um, to our teams. Points of stamina. We've only got these two right now, and then this one's coming soon. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. Again, kind of a lot like Terra Dome, but, you know, fine. Whatever. It's a good place to get, or it is the place to get new gear. So you get Surge from here. I don't know which one we get from there. Crimson Abyss. We... What's it? I thought I was getting gear for clearing this. Is Crimson, so, uh, wait, is Crimson Abyss? Oh, it's a, it's a ruby farm. Wow, okay, all right. Okay. And then Lost Valley's all the old gear, interesting, all right. Dude, a ruby farm is a, is a great move. I didn't even catch that in the Crimson Abyss video. I was too busy worried about the dungeon. Uh, all right, yeah. So we'll check out the other new dungeon when it opens up. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on on the team that I finally get through stage six with, and we'll talk about more in depth, you know, the team and the gear and all that when it happens. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna jump around and check out more of the update. So that's it. Let me know how you guys are doing in that dungeon, what teams you're running, what stage you're on, all of that, and we'll see you in the next one.